For the young men out there who uh, feel like the Lord may be calling you, um, and you're questioning, you know, how might this be a fulfilling uh, life for you? Um, I can personally testify that it's, uh, it's quite an adventure. Coming to discover Christ in a more profound way, the, the amount that he loves me in spite of my weaknesses, um, and the fact that he still desires to use me to reach out to uh, those that I'm called to serve and minister is really a beautiful, beautiful gift. The Lord doesn't call the perfect. He calls those who are still in need of salvation, those who are in, still in need of formation. Um, and so he didn't come to Peter and Andrew, James and John in the Sea of Galilee and say, you know, you're not ready yet to be disciples um, or to be apostles to preach the gospel. He said, come and follow me. I will teach you to be fishers of men. Um, and so I think for young men, we need to realize we don't have to be perfect, but we have to be open to following Christ, falling in love with him, and letting him teach us what it means to be a priest of Jesus Christ. So to all the young men who are out there who are uh, considering how might I you know, bring some type of dignity to this life that I have? Um, one of those ways might be in following the Lord in uh, the path to the priesthood. Um, and so if that is you, he is saying, come and follow me. I will make you a fisher of men. And uh, with that, there's certainly a great need out there, but there's also a great dignity that the Lord will uh, bring to your life and fulfill your life in service, not only to him, but also to the church.